you think I'd be attracted to a six foot seven busty green woman, but unfortunately, all we got was the nasty green giant instead of the jolly green giant in the new She Hulk. That's right, friends. It's your main man, Z, here, and I just finished watching the premiere episode of She-Hulk on Disney+. And as I've told you many times, I'm here for you to watch all of these ridiculous shows so that you may not have to torture yourself with them. And here we go again. I have many mixed feelings about this show. I'm okay with the idea of a law room comedy i'm okay with a comedy but i think i laughed at one joke in that entire show and i can't even remember which part it was there th this show is a hot hot mess and as reports have been coming out we had heard it was a hot mess i think it's the hack writers um it's just crazy let's let's uh there'll be spoilers in this and as a reminder please like and subscribe as a do a do really help the channel please uh yeah give us a like subscribe or check out our full-length audio podcast we really appreciate that too anyway back to she hulk so it's uh it's strange. You'd think there'd be more courtroom drama in a show about a courtroom, but they spend all of one minute in a courtroom with two seconds of, of something sort of interesting happen. I don't know what's going on. There's fourth wall breaking, which I'm okay with, but it's unclear as to whether or not like Bruce Banner knows that the fourth wall is being broken too. Very strange. The plot's very basic. You get a... Um, She's Jennifer Walters. She's a attorney. She's getting ready to try uh, a trial. She's about to give her closing statements when uh, she says, "Well, I'm actually six foot seven Green Hulk." So let's go back in time. So she goes back and shows how she became the Hulk, which is not especially interesting. Um, what what is interesting about it is their depiction. So if you think a little bit about the hero's journey, you know, the thing that we we base Star Wars on, a lot of mythology, the Joseph Campbell book from the 1960s, the hero's journey, they kind of just re-centered uh, everybody on what the classic story of a hero. And, and I think what's interesting about the hero's journey, it doesn't necessarily have to apply to a man or a woman nece necessarily. I feel like they're, they're pro I know there's another book from the 90s that was called The Heroine's Journey, but still, I think uh, you could still take that same story and apply it where you have a character that needs to grow as a person or as a, a through their adventures, they learn and grow. This very successful attorney, she doesn't need anything. So when she hulks out a couple times, Bruce Banner takes her back to his his uh, island or his place in Mexico that Tony built for him. We'll get back to that in a second. So they get back there and they're he's like trying to train her, trying to help her understand. He spent 15 years in agony trying to understand how to deal with this. And she's like, nah, I'm cool. I don't need none of this. I don't need your help. They made Bruce Banner or Smart Hulk he was like unlikable. I have always been a little. I, I like Mark Ruffalo typically, but and I I like him as the Hulk. But wow, I don't. Their goal was to make him not like that, not make you like as the audience. You're not supposed to like Mark because he's mansplaining to her. Boy, they go hard, and I fell for it because he falls for it. He went so hard into it. You barely get the idea. Like, he's he's supposed to just be there to help. And she's like, I just don't need your help. She's like, I can do this on my own. I don't need you. And, she, you know, there's even an exposition part where she talks about, it's like, I'm always, you know, I have to learn how to deal with rage my whole life because I get catcalled. And if I'm an attorney, people are going to tell me I'm no good because I'm a whammon. What? This is not the world we live in, people. Like, this is the imaginary world from the 1950s you were thinking of. 
this is not today. Today, there's no one doing any of these things. That you're, first of all, no one's walking around in a modern city anymore by themselves because you might get killed. But, like, seriously, who's getting catcalled? Who's getting... Who, where are construction workers? When was the last time you saw a construction worker? Where are the... the you know, she's getting held down by, by who? Like, give us specific examples. Show it in her life where she's been put down. I mean, it's the same message as Captain Marvel. And empty. It's just empty. So she doesn't... She's just as good as the Hulk, if not better. She could do everything he can do, but probably... A little, she even says, I'm a little bit better than you, aren't I? She is no fighting. She's never been a superhero. She ne never learned how to do anything, and she can just automatically... She's just better than him. All right, so we'll move on from that part. There's a very strange... like. They keep trying to make these jokes about Captain America and him being a virgin and how great his ass is. None of that was funny. The writers of this show are absolute hacks. It's kind of unreal how bad these people are. Let's move a little bit further forward and we'll talk. Um, there's a weird scene where the Hulk has a bar and you know how like you etch things into you know the top of a bar and it says BB for Bruce Banner and TS for Tony Stark, and it's like implying that there was some sort of relationship there. Like I don't know if that's tongue in cheek or whatever it is, and and you know maybe I'm taking it too seriously, but I'm, f I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that Tony Stark was married with a kid, and that's the whole reason why he goes back in time to fix everything in Endgame. And I'm pretty sure that Mark Ruffalo and Scarlett Johansson, you know, Black Widow, had some sort of relationship because they mention it in the thing. We watched it. I, we watched the shows. These writers clearly don't watch the shows. They don't care. So they're just like, haha, wouldn't it be funny if Bruce Banner and Tony Stark had a relationship? You know, just hanging out here doing the blip? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Losers. Go back to whatever hack school you went to to write. It's, obs it's ridiculous. So, you know, we're supposed to believe that she's a successful, powerful wham and that doesn't need no man explaining anything to her. She's single in her 30s with a career like, what have you achieved in your life? You, you, you don't have any kids. You don't have like any, you know, this is all you want is just to be an attorney. I don't know how the rest of the show is going to go. I have no idea. I know that once you get back off the island and, and they she goes, well, this is how everything started. She's in the courtroom and then the wall busts in. And I don't know who's the costumer in this show or who did wardrobe or whatever. But what walked through that door, I don't know what it is. I don't know why the actress would allow them to dress her like that. I don't know what her superpowers are. All I know is she bursts through the wall. Jen decides to Hulk out. Her best friend tells her to Hulk out, and she goes and, and stops her with one punch. And that's it. That's all the action we get, other than a unnecessary Hulk fight scene where she bests Bruce Banner because she the bestest ever. Yeah, that's what this show is. That's what you're getting. I would have all been. I would have been all in. I think I like She Hulk. And I think there is an interesting dynamic there where, you know, from the comic books and, and from some of the, you know, other depictions of her in cartoons and things like that, she is a successful lawyer. She is a, um, she's a test pilot. She, she acts in Hollywood. Like, she's searching for some sort of fulfillment in her life. And Bruce is jealous of, of this. Bruce is not... You know, he's had a struggle, and I think the dynamic between that could have been explored, but the fact that she can, like, throw rocks further than him, and she can beat him up, and she can learn how to do the clap thing in two seconds. She watches him do it once, and she's like, I can do that. Bruce has been fighting, like, giant robots and monsters and things for 15 years, and she's never lifted her, her finger ever, never fought a single person. I think it would have been more interesting to see her have to overcome, like, I have this giant body and I don't know what to do with it, but they they didn't do that. They're going in some weird direction and I don't know what it is. I was looking forward to a courtroom drama, but there's literally no drama and there's no courtroom. We were in the courtroom for all of 10 seconds for the final scene. 
So I do not know what is going on here, but there is a little controversy and we'll, we'll take a look at it, which is, is a little strange. So I Googled what, what do the reviews look like? Cause I haven't read anybody else's reviews. I wanted to form my own opinion. I wanted to get into this first, but what you have here is uh, it's all over the place. There are people that are saying things like, this is the perfect show. It is nothing more amazing than this show. 10 out of 10, hands down. And then you have the Daily Beast, the Daily Beast, saying this is Marvel trash at its most offensive. What is, is it a zero? Is it a, uh, I don't get it. And they're also complaining about getting review bombed. Oh, and the, the last part, the CGI. There were some parts where the CGI looked really good, and then there were some parts where the CGI was like, what am I looking at here? This looks terrible. And that's where The Verge here has She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, a lean green uncanny valley machine. They're like, it's, it's, it's uncanny valley, but it works. I just, it wasn't funny. I didn't laugh. I had one time where I chuckled. And like I said, I couldn't remember what the joke was. The fourth wall stuff doesn't work at all because you don't know whether or not other people know it. Now, most of these reviewers got the first four episodes. I'm strictly reviewing the first episode. So, you know, we don't get to see her in her law practice, how she interacts with her best friend. Like, we don't get any of that. We just get this entirely too long exposition dump of why she's better than than mark ruffalo's hulk this one on rotten tomatoes right here says is absolutely perfect well they say she's absolutely perfect tatiana maslani i don't know how to feel about her i like her as an actress i don't know that i like her in this show or in this role it's it's very strange i i don't know she doesn't say why she wants to be a great attorney or what her career aspirations are. We don't know. We don't know what any of her motivations are. All we know is that she says, I don't want to be a superhero, which is fine. Maybe she doesn't, and maybe that's part of it, but she's super good at being a superhero, so why shouldn't she just be awesome? Apparently, this takes place shortly after Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. It doesn't lack for comedy for a writing team for alumni from Robot Chicken on my block at Santa Clarita Diet. D so far, it's not funny. Maybe it gets funnier, but episode one, not funny. Let's talk briefly about the review, review bombing. The greatest show ever, according to Marvel, is Miss, Miss Marvel, which had like a freaking, it's the highest reviewed anything on on marvel and that show was terrible this is getting review bombed harder they're claiming and you know i i i don't know exactly where to take this but they're showing like what's the percentage of views that were one star compared to the rest of the shows loki was 1.5 wandavision 2.2 hawkeye 1.5 moon knight 4.8 Falcon and the Winter Soldier, 3%. Miss Marvel, 22%. And She-Hulk, 35.8%. So maybe there is review bombing, but maybe a lot of people really hate it. I mean, I wouldn't give it a one, but I definitely don't like it. It's I mean, it's it's maybe a five right now. Based on the first episode alone, it, to me, it's a five. The CGI is not up to snuff. It's not funny. It claims to be a comedy. I don't know, I, and I didn't, it makes me not like one of the characters I used to like, and I don't know that I like her. Who am I rooting for in this? I don't know. What's even going on? Is there some sort of antagonist I should be worried about? I have no idea. What is the show even trying to accomplish? I don't know. What's the premise? She's trying to be a good attorney? Okay, like, I just where is the show going? So anyway, let me know what you think. If you, if you saw it, let me know. If you want me to, I, well, I promise you I would keep watching them. And you guys keep telling me that I should. So I will continue to rant, rave, and drive myself insane by watching these shows. But if I, this is one I would skip. If, if I didn't have to watch it for the show, I, I wouldn't watch it. Based off the first episode. I just, I don't know where it's going. I don't necessarily care where it's going. I have nobody to root for. Hulk's not going to be in it anymore. And I don't even like him based on what I've seen in this. So let me know in the comments below. T tell me, what do you think? Is this like 
the MCU clearly has its problems now. And you saw what happened with HBO. HBO had to clean house. Is Marvel next? We'll see. They already killed Phase 4. They're like, yeah, Phase 4 is done. And I don't think this show is going to help them. It's definitely not going to. People are not going to respond well to this. They already didn't based off the trailers. So I, if you get a chance, please, I hope we earned a like and subscribe today. I really do. Um, if you want to keep seeing this content, that's how we get it done. You share it with your friends. Also, check out our full-length audio podcast. We live stream it Friday nights, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, p.m. Come join us. Join the live chat. We have a lot of good times there. Good stuff had by all. You can also get the audio podcast for free on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places. But as for me, I am fortunately or unfortunately, I guess on to the next one of episode two of She-Hulk. See y'all.